This is about probably the most popular bicep exercise, which is the straight bar curl or barbell curl. This is the exercise you see most people using a squat rack for in a gym. Here's a hint for gym etiquette. If you're using the squat rack for barbell curls and someone's waiting to squat, move. You can easily pick up a bar off the ground to do curls with, but they can't really pick up a bar off the ground to do squats with. It's just common courtesy. The barbell curl is a good exercise and it's also very easy to cheat with. It's one of those exercises where I think there is kind of legal cheating, as long as you know what you're doing. Here's why. So a basic barbell curl, you're just standing straight and you simply curl the bar up. Here's where some people go wrong. You'll notice at the bottom, I'm letting my arms go all the way straight. Some people, the, this position makes the, uh, is very weak for the bicep. The bicep is very weak in this position. So you'll see some people curl like this. They feel the bar get down to their uh, torso, but their arms aren't straight. They're curved like this, and they keep doing this. When they, you do this over time, it can uh, weaken the attachment of the bicep. So going to a straight arm position is very uncomfortable. So it's good to know when you're cutting the range short. And in my mind, this isn't really one to cut the range short. Another thing people will do is they'll swing the bar, or at least have some body, body English, for lack of a better term, to get the bar moving, like this. This, you can easily get away, it can get away from you as you keep exaggerating it more and more. I think there's a time and a place for cheating in an exercise. To use a little momentum to get the bar moving is okay sometimes. Again, we're taking it away from the bicep in the weakest position. This is okay at times. So maybe you can curl 150 pounds for reps by swinging the bar a little bit. If it's some kind of reverse clean, you're no longer doing a curl and no longer really working the bicep. But a little swing might be okay sometimes. You should also be aware of if you can do 150 for eight reps, what can you do for eight reps with very strict form? And to check yourself, find a solid object, stand with your back against it, and then perform curls that way. You'll be very surprised how weak you are. That's kind of a reality check as to how much momentum you're using. So again, you should know, just like any other exercise, you should know if you're cutting your squat short, why you're cutting them short, and when you're cutting them short. Same thing if you're bouncing your bench presses. Why are you bouncing it? And when are you bench bouncing it? So barbell curls, no different. You should know how much swing you're giving it, why you're swinging it, how often you're doing it. If you're doing that all the time, you're doing something wrong. So just be aware of what the motion's supposed to be. It's a great exercise for self-forced reps because when you get tired, even with strict form, you can use that and either get slow negatives or just get up the reps that you can't quite get up. Again, you should know when that's happening. If that's the last half of your set, maybe you're using too much weight. So just be aware. This is a great exercise, but again, it's very easy to cheat so people turn it into a poor exercise. Know what you're trying to accomplish when you choose an exercise and when you're working out. That will help keep you aware of your form and why and when to cheat.